Hey guys, what's going on? It's you, Andy. You got a brand new sneaker pickup coming in for you guys. Really excited about this one. Brand new Nike model. I want to give a big thank you to Hibbit Sports for gifting these to me. There'll be a link to these shoes in the description. Also a link to Hibbit's website. Great product on there. Awesome return policy. Great rewards program. So definitely go shop them. Also a link to their Instagram page and app. So here we go. Nike Air Max 2090. Retail price, $150. This is the original first color of these. There's gonna be a bunch of other colors. White, black, pure platinum. So here we go. And boom, just a really cool new model from Nike. And what it's doing is paying homage to the Air Max 90, which is 30 years old now. So it's kind of like a tribute. They used a lot of different pieces from the Air Max 90 on this shoe and then kind of gave it a modern twist. So what I really like about it is it kind of has like an off-white type of feel. That really seems to be the vibe with sneakers now where they're a little more crazy, you know, where they add stitching or they cut off a swoosh or, you know, it's this air, but it's cut off. So for me, that kind of feels like, you know, even like the little um, tongue, there's like a hole in there, it says air, but it's cut off. So, um, you know, you got blue stitching. So for me, uh, that kind of feels like the way a lot of shoes are going is trying to be a little more wacky, a little more out there. And then what I have here is, the Air Max 90 is probably my favorite sneaker of all time. Uh, also, these are from Hibbit Sports, so I'll post a link to these as well, so you can go grab a pair of these. These are, especially this, uh, the, the infrared 90s are probably my favorite. This is probably my second favorite color, the Neon Volt. But as you can see, the back of the shoe, you kind of have that Nike Air little patch, except it's, you know, got these ripple effects. The Nike Air is kind of hidden back there. So it's kind of like the Nike Air patch on steroids. You know, they added this big chunky heel and a little pull tab. As you can see the front of the shoe, you know, you still have that same mesh, except they added a hyperfuse along the toe. You know, give it a little more stability. You know, coming up the lacing system, obviously more traditional. Uh, they've got kind of like a zigzag pattern and then you have that blue stitching. As you can see on the Air Max 90, you do have that cutoff swoosh, so that's kind of where you're getting the cutoff swoosh here. So it's kind of cool they cut off the swoosh, then added that stitching to kind of make it, I don't know, almost look like it's like cut and then sewn, so kind of cool. You have your Air Max logo right there, whereas on this one, it just kind of says Air uh, in, you know, a graphic and it's cut off. Air unit, you know, obviously a nice big bubble compared to this smaller one. Tongues are drastically different. Obviously this has this kind of hole pull tab, so when you put it on, you kind of put your finger in there, which is cool. Um, obviously, traditional tongue on the Air Max 90. Then the outsole, the outsole kind of reminds me of the Air Max 270, which for me, like that was such a breakout big hit for Nike to kind of create a new funky model, but it really take off the Air Max 270. So it does remind me of that with that big chunky heel, massive air unit. Whereas the 2090, I don't know that it's gonna be as popular as the Air Max 270, but still a really cool new model and uh, a great way to pay homage to the Air Max 90. Air Max month was in March. Uh, a lot of people shared a lot of great photos of their Air Max collections. But for me, I think this was a great way to kind of uh, capsulate the month, the last 30 years of Air Max, and uh, I'm looking forward to see what else uh, Nike's gonna do with the Air Max line. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you check out both these shoes. Links will be in the description. Check out Hibbit's website and make sure you're staying safe out there. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.